Hello, I'm Dr. Hal Stewart with the Texas Center for Occlusal Studies and Minimally Invasive Dentistry. Today I'm going to show you our technique that we teach here at the Texas Center for taking polyvinyl siloxane impressions. We like to take polyvinyl siloxane impressions for our final diagnostic models on which we are going to do our diagnostic wax up. There's a couple of reasons for this. We get very accurate models with very crisp gingival margins, which are very important when we make our stents or our restorative portion of uh, our treatment. We also have models uh, or an impression that we can pour multiple times if we need to. So they're very easy to take. There's a specific technique that we like to use, and I'm going to show that to you now. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm using a chromoclone putty and wash. So um, here's the base and the catalyst. Now I've, I've got about 20% less catalyst than base. So that gives me a little bit of more working time. This base and catalyst set up very, very quickly. So we want to only take about 10 or 15 seconds in mixing the base and catalyst so that we have plenty of working time. So there we have it. It's a nice uniform mixture. We've already tried this tray in on our patient Anne and we don't need to do a pallet. The pallet is not important for this. So there it is. We put a little piece of cellophane over and then we're going to go into the patient's mouth. We're going to push straight up. Okay. And that leaves us a little indention for which we can now place our wash. So now just a bead just a little bead of wash is all we need, just like that. We go back into the patient's mouth. I seed it back in, up to the point where I stopped, and then I go a little bit more and I can see that wash oozing out. And now we're just going to let this sit for four minutes. The key is putting uh, not too much wash in there and you don't get any running down the back of the throat. So the patient has no gag uh, issues with these at all. Okay, it's been sitting for four minutes now. It's ready to pull, so as I just pull the pages back, and I want you to pull your head backwards, up towards me, and I'm going to pull down, and we get a nice final impression. So if you look here, you see how the gingival margins are very accurate, very crisp, very clean, and we'll go pour this up and then you can see how that translates into the model work. Uh, we pulled the model and I just want to show you how crisp and clean these gingival margins are. So if we're going to make any kind of stents, um, we're going to have a very, very accurate impression of these margins. Now you might see a little of the material in, in approximately pull out with the model. If that happens, just remember that now if you pour a second model, you're going to, going to have uh, that embrasure space is not going to be quite so crisp. So I like to use the very first model, the very first pour, which is always the most pristine and accurate um, after I've cleaned out the embrasures and cleaned out any impression material. And then I like to duplicate these models with our duplication technique that we uh, have shown you in another video. So remember the first model is always the very best one. The second and third and fourth pour, pour can be used for various things but for your you know final diagnostic wax up use the very first model. And that is uh, our technique for taking a polyvinyl impression that you get um, accurate results on a consistent basis. Um, and it's very easy on the patient, no gag reflex issues with this whatsoever. So we really like this technique. Hope you uh, enjoyed this today. Thank you.